to celebrate New Year's Eve on Times Square with the New Yorkers is a dream of many people. Yes, and we all drink champagne at midnight. But it's all about the cocktails, how we celebrate 2015. Isn't that right, Joyce? Definitely. New Yorkers love their alcohol and we love it in any form that you want to serve it to us. And champagne's a great drink because it's celebratory, it's very chic, it's sexy and it's elegant, but it's very playful and fun at the same time. So if you want to continue with that champagne theme, what New Yorkers do is we go to a place called Flute Bar and Lounge. There are multiple locations in the city and they're hosting two New Year's Eve parties this year. It's cocktail attire and you have to buy tickets to attend. And there you can really treat yourself well because they have gorgeous vintage bottles that go up to $3,000 per bottle. Wow, but besides champagne, are there any other options to drink? Oh, absolutely. So right now the whiskey and the scotch scene is huge in New York. There are bars that are just focused on these types of drinks. So for a very great night out, very, very sexy night out, you want to check out the Flatiron Room. They offer over a thousand bottles of whiskey and what's great is that it starts at just $11 for a pour. However, if, you're, if your wallet's a little bigger, check out the Balvenie 40-year-old that they serve because that's $928 a pour. If the cocktail thing is more of your scene, craft cocktails are also very huge here. And you want to go to Angel Share. Angel Share was actually named the number two bar in the United States by GQ Magazine, and it's this fantastic Japanese speakeasy that's tucked away in the East Village. There are the drinks around $15, and one of my favorites to have there is called The Evidence. It's an Earl Grey infused vodka with Lille Blanc, lemon, and ginger ale. Cool. Wow, that sounds great. And is there a more low-key, less crowded solution to celebrate New Year's Eve? Definitely. So in New York, it gets really, really crazy, especially when so many people are out at one time. And if you want to avoid that craziness, what we like to do is have our own parties in our apartments. Thank you, Joyce, for sharing your insights. We can now all celebrate New Year's Eve as a real New Yorker.